He sent me to another going out verse. Acts 12.10 When they passed the first and second guard, they came to the iron gate that leads into the city, which opened for them by itself. They went out and went along one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. He is still sending me straight to stories of deliverance, freedom from bondage, leaving, going out, immediately with an angel. Open your ears and listen to him. There is a plan of rapture. His angels will remove his people to the heavenly city. Listen. Verses 1 through 11. Now about that time, Herod the king laid hands on some who belonged to the church in order to mistreat them. And he had James, the brother of John, put to death with a sword. When he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. When he had seized him, he put him in prison, delivering him to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending after the Passover to bring him out before the people. So Peter was kept in the prison, but prayer for him was being made fervently by the church to God. On the very night when Herod was about to bring him forward, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and guards in front of the door were watching over the prison. And behold, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared, and a light shone in the cell, and he struck Peter's side and woke him up, saying, Get up quickly. And his chains fell off his hands, and the angel said to him, Gird yourself and put on your sandals. And he did so. And he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. And he went out and continued to follow. And he did not know that what was being done by the angel was real, but thought he was seeing a vision. When they had passed the first and second guard, they came to the iron gate that led into the city, which opened for them by itself. And they went out and went along one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. When Peter came to himself, he said, Now I know for sure that the Lord has sent forth his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming to the Jews. We can expect this, but we as the bride of Christ can also expect for him to send his angels to rescue us. Jacob's trouble is not for us. Some day all the dreams and visions believers have had will be real. Prophecy from the Bible is and will be fulfilled. This time it will be in the twinkling of an eye. It will be a quick snatching away. We are told not to turn back and get our coat. For this journey we must already be prepared and waiting, with our lamps filled and our lights shining bright knowing we are justified and sanctified by the blood of Jesus and standing firm in our faith in him. Faith that what he says he will do will be done, on the straight and narrow, ready, waiting for our bridegroom. Amen.